Hi, John McElroy here talking with Timo Krakowski. He is the Vice President of Project Management for Electronics at for Via Hella for North and South America. And they got some pretty cool technology here about presence detection. So Timo, where do we start in talking about this? Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for having me. So we are talking here um, about um, several topics, right? Um, starting with uh, smart car access. But in order to understand what a smart car access, we need to understand where this is coming from. So if we are looking at um, Hella um, at that time, uh, market leader in car access systems, as well as uh, key fobs, we were the first to market to adopt the ultra wide band technology in key fobs. Now, well, let me start. What do you mean right. ultra wide band? Ultra wide band is a, a, a new frequency or a different frequency compared to radio frequency or low frequency, which has been used traditionally in car access systems. And what's the advantage of ultra wide? So uh, you remember back in the days where you had traditional key fobs, there were always the risk of relay station attacks. Getting hacked. Exactly. So everywhere it was posted and hacker were trying to do it. It is essentially um, trying to relay the signal from the car to the key fob over a long distance. Basically, you have someone, a hacker, close to the car and someone close to the um, remote key and relay that signal. Ultra wideband makes it possible because it measures the length of the signal or the time of the signal from sending it out to response. How old is the signal? With that, you cannot have any relay station attacks anymore. Therefore, it's very important for security purposes um, to implement um, this new technology. Okay, thanks for making me a little bit smarter. No, okay. uh, <laughs> let's pick it up again from there then. Yeah, what? so uh, very important is uh, that um, with that, we make the car more secure. And that was very important for the OEM. Obviously, they wanted to have their cars secure, but we want to also be clear that the end user, for them, it is a base requirement. They want their car secure. So that is not really a big advantage for the user, for the owner of the car. It has to be secure, very clear. But with ultra wideband technology, we are able now to utilize that not only in key fobs, but also in the anchors. So we would have anchors in the vehicle, several at the corners, depending on the size, eight, six, and also inside of the vehicle. So when you say anchors, they're like antennas? Is they're antennas or smaller control modules, uh, which are basically receiving the signal from the, let's say, key fob or even from uh, like uh, a smartphone, for example. Because that was the big step as well. Now the new phones, the new technology phones and next-gen phones, they have ultra wideband built in. And with that, you don't even need a key fob anymore. You can utilize your phone to access your vehicle. Mm -hmm. And also, it has very accurate um, uh, positioning due to the fact that it can measure the time. And with the difference of the antennas, it can very accurately measure your position or the position of the phone in relation to the car or to the anchor. Is that very important, right? Because if you're as close to the car, you also have the possibility and the old technology that your child is inside and drive away. But that's not possible anymore. Mm -hmm. So very, very accurate to distinguish inside and outside as well. So what did you figure out what you could do once you had ultra wide band technology in the car? Let me uh, show you a little bit uh, a demonstration of that. Uh, so we are seeing here with the smart smartphone, yeah, with the ultra wide band technology inside, we clearly see uh, the possibility to use the phone as a location device and authorization device. With that, um, you can see the very accurate, so if we have an anchor in here, um, you see the position moving. And I hope I'm doing it right. So you see very accurately where we are and how it's moving away. So even it, in that it, it small showed difference. that you were within two meters, now it's showing that it's six exactly. meters. Exactly, right. within, let's say, two meters and six meters. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is not only security, but it also enables features like welcoming, for example, right? Um, you can uh, approach the vehicle and you can have animation to welcome you. 
you can have um, you can have a uh, very accurate location. That means also you can determine which door to unlock when you are close enough. So you can only unlock the passenger door, the driver door, or even the power lift gate, mm -hmm. where you don't need any more extra sensors for a kick sensor, where you're trying to find where is the kick sensor to open my door and you balance a while on one, on one foot. When you have grocery bags in both exactly. arms and you're trying to open the, the lift gate. Exactly. And also, that's a good point, you don't even need your phone like for uh, as a as a device where you hold it. You can have it in your pocket. Your, you don't your need purse to do it for exactly. A you don't need to activate it. It's always active. You don't need to press a button or uh, something like that to open it. You can just use it as you normally would use in back pocket, front pocket, anywhere you want, and uh, it will open uh, whatever you want in terms of the war. Cool. And also, it it, it measures as I mentioned where you are so that you are in the vehicle, then can only start the vehicle and drive away. Okay, there's one. I know there's more. Right. Else? So that, that's a very important, obviously, aspect in terms of comfort. But we can do more than that um, in, in terms of um, um, going towards um, anti-theft. So, you know, we have technology like ultrasonic, uh, for example, um, where um, maybe dogs go crazy, right, in the car if you activate it. Or we have situations uh, where when you have the window open and the wind gush is coming, it's accidentally uh, alerted. So what uh, ultra wideband technology is doing is, is using the internal antennas to constantly pulsing and generating, I would say, an image of the interior of the car and constantly compares if something has changed. So if someone would try to access the car, even if it's locked until you leave the window open, you could go in and it has a very accurate and we, detection. Yeah, we, we see that. It exactly. in, instantly knows. Somebody instantly, broke the plane. Exactly. And then, due to the fact that it's uh, also now a connected vehicle, you can send a, a signal to your phone or um, raise an alarm um, to make this uh, alert or even directly alert the authorities, whatever mm -hmm. the end user or the OEM decides. Mm -hmm. So additional security with that not only access, but also protection. Very accurate. Obviously, it also works if you uh, smash in a window or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have not only security, but also a safety aspect. So with that um, anchor in place, um, we are also um, able to realize child presence detection. And as everybody knows, that's an, another very, very important topic for all of us, right, who have kids or um, uh, pets even. Right? So if you forget your child, that is a big thing in your car, right? That's the, for you, but if you forget in the car, that is uh, a safety hazard. So the ultra -wide bank technology can determine living objects in the car. You know that we have other t solutions like, for example, interior radar, mm -hmm. like um, um, camera, for example. Infrared, especially. Right. And, but these have blind spots, right? Mm -hmm. They have certain blind spots uh, with the cars, a very complicated interior situation or blankets. Or if, if somebody was child. lying on the floor, exactly. for example. Exactly. This, uh, the ultra wideband in our anchors is able to detect the slightest movement. So as you can see here, this uh, um, puppet is simulating uh, a child in the vehicle and it measures as you can see it, it's moving and it measures this movement so it, it, and it has a breathing they're breathing the so their breathing, chest is exactly. moving and you're measuring just your chest moving. exactly so it's not only limited to children for a lot of people their dog or something is very important uh, as well so um, it can detect living things so you don't need to be determining with the camera is that really a human or is that doesn't matter it's living it's important mm -hmm. very very simple and with that and you also see the accuracy if i would uh, put it in you see the different behavior so it is even um, here with a very rudimental system it's showing how sensitive the system is mm -hmm. so with that we are also able to have an additional feature and very important is this additional feature is basically a software update so it's not related to additional hardware. Once you have smart car access, you can have anti-theft 
and child presence detection, which is also an NCAP requirement, right, in future. So therefore, also here you can upgrade your vehicle without extra hardware. That means you can also realize, for example, subscription-based, um, let's say, features to the consumers as long as you have children or a pet. If not, you don't buy it. Mm -hmm. That's a big advantage as well. And you eliminate, obviously, also the additional radar camera um, necessary hardware. Right. That's a lot. Have we covered it all? Yeah, we have covered that, it all. Yeah. That, that's pretty impressive. One more thing, though, that I see here. Down on your display, mm -hmm. it says that this system can reduce in 51% lower carbon footprint. How does that work? So, for sure, um, everything in terms of um, in, in the anchors and the control units are much smaller than the traditional system. So you have obviously a weight reduction, and then also you eliminate other sensors, control units, cameras, radar systems where you don't need them anymore. So that is a big advantage as well. And obviously also we adopt uh, in our housings and so on um, more recycled material or weight reduction uh, technologies in our molding process, which allows here additional weight uh, that, yeah. savings. Good story. So when might we see this in production? So we are right now in development and uh, within two years, you would see it okay. uh, on the roads. And actually, the first cars on the road from us will be here in North America. So we have it with a major OEM here. And uh, we are in discussion with the additional features uh, with that said uh, OEM, but also with other OEMs, obviously, all over the world. Yeah. Real good. Timo, I never knew you could do so much with ultra-wideband. I feel like I am a little bit smarter now. Thank you very, very much. Very good. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.